taking it outside this morning to imagine it. That's because we're having a little bit of a think tank discussion outside where it's nice and the air is great and we're enjoying the presence of Carl Nelson who has a <laughs> whiteboard and there's no better place than to hear from a scientist than outside because it, it just it calms the nerves. It does. And, uh, and I can process what you're about to demonstrate here. I, I, if we were in a lab somewhere, I would say forget it. Okay. So cool. So we are actually outside the Science Center. We're right next to a, sort of an iconic exhibit that's been here for years. They're called Whisper Dishes. Whisper it's Dishes. This big blue, ten foot diameter dish behind you, okay. and it's it's a, it's all about the physics of how sound waves can travel. So just really quickly, like if if we had a, a flat wall, uh oh, if we had a marker that marked, there we go. Okay. Got a flat wall, and if a sound wave or a light wave were to come into that wall oh, yeah. and strike it, it'll bounce off. And it turns out that the angle here and here is the same. Another example, if I had a basketball and I bounce it to you, in order to get it to your hands, I'm going to bounce it at a 45 degree angle so it bounces back into your hands. Right, well, right? It, it wouldn't stay there. I'm not good at basketball. You know, you'd probably drop it, and yeah. I'd probably drop it too. Okay, so we're not dealing with a flat wall. We're dealing with this big dish, which has like a curve to it. In fact, it has a curve kind of like this, mm -hmm. and it's called a parabola. I was going to say that. Oh, say it. Parabola. It's a parabola. <laughs> and what does a parabola have right here? A dot. A focus. Ah. It has a focus. And so what's interesting <laughs> about the mathematical shape here is that any sound or light waves that emanate from this point and strike the dish are going to bounce straight out. If it goes here, it's going to bounce straight out. If it bounces here, it's going to bounce straight out. You get the idea here, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Now, this is great if you want to make a light bulb for a car. You put a tiny filament at the focal point of your parabolic reflector, and you get a collimated beam that goes straight out long distance. Here, we've got one dish right behind you, and far, far away, we have another dish with that same focal point. And if we could send the sound waves from this dish 116 feet behind me, when they come over here, they're going to all end up bouncing straight to the focal point of the sister dish behind me. That's amazing. All right, well, we have Amy from the Imagination Station here on the receiving end or the opposite now, end here. Now tell me, the beauty of this is, let's really test this out. We've got road construction sounds out here. We've got the wind. Right. We've got people jackhammering. Whisper, Whisper. straight at the dish. Okay. And let's, right. like, tell her to raise both hands or something. Amy, raise both hands. OK, now stand on one leg. And now hop up and down. <laughs> this really is great. <laughs> I didn't know it was also mind control. Go ahead and whisper something this way, Aim. Oh, challenge accepted. This is. <laughs> hey, so, so you can actually just whisper and hear one another. Like, boy, does Carl always wear his lab coat even when he's not at work? I heard that. Oh, I, I oh, can hear it here. Oh, I'm in the beam. Oh, I can oh, hear it too. Oh, you oh. can't do those sorts of things. <laughs> so it is, it is truly amazing. Like, if you have two people and one of them is talking into the focal point where that circle is, yeah. if the other person just moves their head this way or a foot that way, you totally lose the sound. That is wild. It is so amazing. And, you know, working at a TV station, you probably know, or if you have a neighbor that has a satellite dish mm -hmm. outside. What's really cool about what they do with the satellite dishes is sometimes those dishes are really small. They're only about this big, but the receiver head is about this big. What they'll do is you actually just remove this half of the dish and put your support down here, anchor it to the ground. So you still have all the stuff focusing at that point. You've just removed half the dish. Oh, wow. So look at the dish at your neighbor's house, and you can see it. It's, it's not quite a, a parabola like this dish. But it's a half, per, almost a half, or three quarters parabola. A half a bar. It's, it's really cool. It's this really cool <laughs> science, really cool math that goes into making right. this shape to amplify the sound waves down to one point. Absolutely. And you can come check it out for yourself because this portion of the Imagination Station is open All 24 time. hours a All day and accessible from Summit Street. Thanks again, Carl. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. Welcome, Tony. Give me a thumbs up down there. How about that? Let's go, <laughs> let's go uh, give a thumbs up while I was demonstrating. All right, now two thumbs up. That's how you imagine it. Now, 13 ABC Action Sports.